No matter what presentation tools he used, man has always had the unwavering ability to mess up a presentation. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I have the latest research results of our annual town survey. On the question of number of witches in the fiefdom, we see they have increased twofold over decent, god fearing folk. Old Sporkins, this ill breeding Rasbane is a real bull's rump. No, oh, you're terrible. I know. Whereas, <laughs> next slide, we see. Look, animated transition, Basil. Twenty percent of witches have been burned in the last six months, as compared to a poultry six percent being dunked. Boy. Don't let history repeat itself. Excessive and superfluous graphic animations and slide transitions can distract from your presentation and cause motion sickness. Ask yourself, is the animation going to help me make my point? If not, why use it? And even the coolest transitions are distracting if used for every single slide. Save them for when you're changing sections or topics. When selecting effects, remember, simpler is better. If it calls attention to itself, try something more subtle. If you're using animation to make a dramatic point, that's great. But just adding eye candy? That's a no-no. With a few simple tips and Microsoft PowerPoint, you will have all the tools you need to make a historic presentation. Or at least the audience won't go medieval on you. All right, which one of you rapscallions is the offender? Hmm? Twas a witch! Oh, 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 oh well played! Oh, 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 oh. You know, it took the monks a fortnight to come up with this presentation. But, lucky for me, I backed up me file. Ouch! Where were Calm. we? Aha! Be it known by one and all.